<laughs> just one pose. And this one's going to be a quad stretch. It's probably the most complicated uh, pose that we have using the chair. And it really works best with a chair that has no arms, no wheels for sure, and a nice sturdy base. We're going to turn to the side. Sam, move. Move, please. And one leg is going to stay on the chair and the other is going to be off. If you have sensitive knees or tight quads, tight thighs, you can use a yoga block or some other type of padding to have underneath the knee that's going to be behind. This pose will also take a little bit of time getting yourself into, but once you figure it out, it's no longer complicated. Come to the edge of the chair as much as you can, and then we're going to take the other leg down. Now I've got my yoga block here waiting, and this is one option for the pose. It can stay right here, depending on your body's ability. I'm going to place that leg backwards until I start feeling a stretch here in the front of the leg. And while we are here, we want to keep planting that front foot down. I want to think tucking pelvis under so my hip flexors stretch a little bit more. But depending on your body, you might need to let your chest come forward or let the back arch just a little bit. Try and draw in the belly if that is happening. The longer we're here, we can scoot ourselves forward, take that leg back a little bit more. Again, we want to feel this in the front of that back leg. To get a little deeper, I'm going to reach down and see if we can bend the leg and grab the ankle. Start bringing it up. Keep pressing that front foot down. Again, we're trying to stretch out this quad here. Try not to struggle in the pose to get deeper into it. Remember, your arm bends back there. So if you can, reach for the foot and bend your arm in order to get deeper into the pose. Notice how I can either open or close my shoulder and that'll add an additional stretch for me. And when you're ready to exit, gently release that foot to bring the leg down. Gently push yourself back to have a seat <sighs> and move on to the other side. This is our pose. We're gonna choose how much deeper into this we wanna get. See if we can engage our belly just a little bit, maybe tuck our pelvis. See about grabbing that back foot. And for me, I need to move the knee back a little bit, bend the arm and breathe. Keep planting down in your front foot. And when we're ready to exit, gently release the foot down. Gently pull yourself back. And that's your one pose.